couple big news in the world of self-driving cars. Tesla has announced that they're building all of their vehicles with self-driving technology. It'll actually come standard. CEO Elon Musk announced the change yesterday, saying that his goal is to have a car drive itself cross-country by next year. They also say at some point the option to drive yourself will actually be eliminated, and the vehicles will drive themselves at all times. Joining me now to talk about this is senior editor from CNET, Scott Stein. Okay, Scott, Tesla is saying that these cars will be equipped to completely drive on their own. Can you explain this full autonomy, autonomous technology, I guess you'd call it, huh? Sure. Well, Elon Musk said that the cars being produced now have an array of cameras and sensors, radar and processors and a neural net that will allow it to have the basic capabilities to do automatic controls and, um, and, and, and the things that would constitute self-driving. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have self-driving cars right away. Uh, that technology that forms a layer over the car, um, it still needs to be perfected. And it's, you can't just switch that on and, and start using it on, on everyday highway systems. So it could be something that's being set up now to do uh, testing and data collection, but not necessarily auto drive right now. Yeah, it's so fascinating. A friend of mine got a Tesla. I got to say, it's pretty cool. It is really cool once you get over the fact that you're not driving it, that it drives itself. It's really a lot of fun to be in. But Tesla isn't the only one working on this self-driving technology. We know Google, Uber, other automakers are trying to navigate this as well. But is Tesla ahead of the game on this one? Um, well, Tesla is definitely making inroads as far as building it into existing cars, and they could have an edge down the road as far as data collection. Uh, you know, the goal, I think, is to have people drive millions of miles with these cars and that the, uh, the system would be able to collect data and maybe make observations that could be crucial down the road for self-driving um, cars. However, the, lo the road is long. There's a lot of safety concerns. People are, are, are wondering how Tesla will make it happen with the current hardware. And, um, and you know, Uber's taking a different approach involving cars that you won't own, and that might be a path that a lot of people prefer um, versus owning their own self-driving car. I'm curious what impact this will have on the auto industry as a whole. When does Honda or Camry start to put their own fully self-driving cars in? Well, I mean, I think this is this is clearly the hot topic. Um, everybody's trying to pursue it. And the question is about safety, and it's about how much of it is self-driving versus assistive, I think. Uh, a lot of companies are talking about the idea of uh, hel helpful assistance, and, and even that in certain countries is getting, you know, it, it's harder to, um, to approve than others. So you, you can see there's a lot of concerns about it. So I think everyone's pursuing it, but, um, you know, how fast you see this incorporated in something that you drive all the time, uh, it could take a little bit of time. 